Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have here a fun little weekend project for you if you want to give this a go. Um, it's a really simple, um, you only need to use your scraps to create this uh, fun little project. Um, I've also got a little giveaway that I want to uh, give away to uh, my subscribers um, and I'll show you the little giveaway at the end of the tutorial for this project. Um, it's nothing much, just to say thank you for uh, subscribing and enjoying my uh, channel and leaving me all the lovely comments that you uh, leave under my videos and I just wanted to show my appreciation. Uh, so I will um, show you the prize at the end and the details of what you need to do to enter but um, these uh, projects that I have here um, what I've made it's a double envelope stack uh, with pocket inserts and I think this is a great little uh, project if you are into happy mailing or if you are in a swap um, you can add some fun tags um, especially if you're doing a tag swap and um, there's some little uh, spots here where you can add all your tags uh, to give to your swap partner um, a spot for a letter or some extra packaging um, so it's just a great way and it's also good for flat mail and i'm going to show you uh, another way that you could uh, use this uh, style of project as well um, so you can add this into a page if you wanted to add this as a page flip so let me show you what I've made and again you can use make this in any size just using your scrap papers uh, so this one is a smaller one to this size you see this one's a little bit uh, larger just so I can show you you can make these in any size and in the front here is the double envelope stack so you'll just need a couple of envelopes uh, that will fit onto the uh, the backing of the project here uh, so this one here has this little tiny envelope where I just did some simple embellishing to this one. And then I've got some Velcro here just to use as a closure. I haven't got anything inside of this envelope, um, but it is a cute little envelope where you can add some little word sentiments, some stickers, or some punched out uh, shapes using your paper punch. And then on the back of that one is a larger envelope. Um, again, I use some Velcro to use as a closure. Uh, if you have no Velcro, you can just use some washi tape or a foam dot. And in that envelope, I've got in there uh, a couple of little uh, flower embellishments. Um, I use an Alina Craft flower die set, and I just laid them all up and um, created it as an uh, embellishment flower. And just backed it onto some paper and some clear packaging um, plastic paper plastic <laughs> um, so then that just closes up like that and then on the back of this envelope is a pocket um, I've just got in here some ephemera and a tag but that's the part here where you can add a bunch of tags behind this envelope as well so again if you're doing a tag swap and I made this really fun uh, embellished pinwheel on a wood pick and I thought this was really cute um, I plan to show you how I made this pinwheel and create this uh, embellishment on a wood pick. Um, so I'm hoping to do this video sometime later in when I have time <laughs> to show you. But I just wanted to show you what I made there. And then on the back here is another pocket. And as I was saying, this is another great spot to add more tags or uh, cutter parts or whatever you like on this back pocket. And then when you turn this around, there is another side pocket here at the back again, where you can store more uh, bits and pieces. I have here another envelope, and that's a cute little envelope, which is the same as this one here. So that was just another great way you can add some envelopes to give to your um, partner. So that's how that looks like. So I'll just show you when there's nothing inside. So that's the little envelope, your next envelope, a pocket, and then there's a side pocket so that's that one and this one here is, is the same just a larger size uh, i made made it with the same size envelopes so this is again just simple embellishing and then you open it up and there is uh, the pot, uh, envelope opening and then that's the larger size and then on the back here is a, another spot to add some more uh, your bits and pieces that you like and then I've just punched out a hole here and added some little dangles just to make it more fun and decorative and then again this is uh, another of the P 
European wool embellishment on a wood pick. So I think these are really cute and this makes a great little gift. So that's those. And this is the pocket and I've got in here um, a tag, a really large tag and also uh, one of these little flip up pages that also has, sorry, that actually belonged in there. So it's a pocket with a little vellum flip page and I did a tutorial on how um, I made this as well. Um, I'll put the link down below if you wanted to have a look and it's the back. So that was a perfect little spot to add one of these in there as well if you wanted to do that. And then on the back is the uh, side pocket. So you can see this one here is um, more higher than this size. So like I said, you can make it in any size you like. And this has that um, other envelope, which is the same as this one here. Just so you can see, it's a really pretty. It has this lovely ornate edge around the envelope, which is a die. Um, I'll have to see if I can find the link for that die for you, if you wanted to purchase that die. But that is this one. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how easy you can make this. And I'll also then show you the little giveaway. Um, so I'm going to do the larger size um, if you want to make this size i'll give you the measurements for this one but again you can make it with any measurements that you like so for the backing paper uh, which is this one i did use double sided paper and i did use uh, a more heavier weight paper because i think it's just more sturdier to have it um, that way or you can double up your paper and add uh, two papers and then stick them together to make it sturdy if you like you can do that um, so this paper was cut at four inches by five and a half inches and then you want another piece of paper that's to create this pocket part here and to make it with this size um, i cut it at three and a half inches by four and a half inches and then two envelopes I have a, a video uh, where you can make your own envelope and that will fit this size um, if you don't have an envelope die or a die cutting machine. I'll put the link to that um, video to create that envelope and I don't have one here in front of me to show you but it'll be a similar size to this one here and that will fit uh, on one of these sizes and even this size but it doesn't really matter what size paper because you can still put it on any size. Um, so I'll put the link down below. So you'll need two envelopes and you can use the same size envelopes to create the double stack envelope. You don't have to use a smaller size. You can use um, the same size. So what we're going to do is uh, you're going to grab your paper, which is the longer piece. So whatever size backing you're going to cut it, you will want to cut the next piece uh, the same width as uh, your backing paper but you want to add an extra uh, one inch and you can add an extra one inch so or half an inch so you can see here it's the same width and I've just added an extra half an inch or one inch it, it does again it doesn't really matter how much you add you just want a little bit more and then what you're going to do is you're going to place this paper on the top and you just want to place it however far you want your front bit to be and that is going to be the width of your uh, pocket for the front and then when you fold it over that will also determine the depth of the side pocket so you just decide where you would how wide you'd like your pocket and then how deep you want your side pocket so I'm just going to place one about here which is about half an inch away from this edge and then also how far down you want your um, pocket to be. I'm just going to place mine about here. So that way you can still see a little bit of your pattern. And I'm just going to simply fold it. So or you can go this way and just give it a, uh, a, a, um, a gentle fold. Just so you can have a, a guide. And then you can just fold that back. So what you'll have now, you're going to bring that back in and you're going to have that. And then the back looks like that. And that's going to be your side pocket at the back. And for this part here, you can now, um, if you like, you can create a thumb notch. Uh, which I will, I'm going to create a little thumb notch for the front pocket. 
And then I'm also going to create one for my back side pocket, which I think I've done one here so you can see. So again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So I'm going to also do one here. Sort of uh, as centered as you can. So that is where I've got my thumb notches. And it's going to go like that. I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to just apply glue. Oh, it's all right. It's upside down, but it doesn't. You're not going to see that back part anyway. And I'm just trying to get the glue out of my nozzle. Hopefully, it will come out. I left it open overnight and I forgot to put the lid on. So I'm hoping. Okay, so my glue still hasn't come out. But what you want to do here. You want to put glue along the top here only and then glue along the bottom here and then up along here. And once I can get this, let me just grab a pin to see if I can. Should have got this ready before the video, so sorry about that. Okay, it's come out now. So let me just put my glue up here just up to that fold line. And then along the bottom here, all the way across. And along the side. I'm going to bring this back over this way. And I'm just going to place it where I wanted to place it, so about there. And then bring that over and seal off where you've applied the glue. So now you'll have that top pocket and then you'll have your side pocket just down here. How easy was that? And then you'll have yourself, let me just want to tag. You should now have yourself a, a pocket there and a side pocket here. And then up here, you can corner around the corners. You could um, just leave it as is. Um, punch a hole in the, in the center to add some uh, dangles next you're going to grab your two envelopes uh, again it doesn't matter what size uh, so the one that's going to go to the back here just decide where you want to place it so again you can use a, a larger size envelope and have it sticking if it sticks out that's even fine so you have this extra um, little bit hanging out which will make it more interesting but with the one that's going to go at the back first, you're going to just place glue along the three sides, not the top. So that way you'll be able to create a, a little uh, pocket insert on the top. So I've done my three sides. And then you just place it where you like. So I'm just going to place it about here. So I could also see the pattern of the pocket. So I've got it there. So that should now give me a pocket there. Have a pocket there. And then the smaller size or the same size, it doesn't matter because you're only going to place it on the top of that uh, flap opening. You're just going to place it up the top there. And I'm just going to slightly angle mine a little bit just to make it more fun and then you're just going to glue only just a little bit up the top here so that it glues onto the uh, flap of that last envelope not all the way down so I'm just going to place it like that and then you can see that that will open up and then that will open up and with this one here you can see I added a little bit of door, a little scrap of dolly on the back. Um, you can decorate the backing first of this one if you want to add some embellishing to the back before you adhere the little envelope. So there you have that and that. You have that and that and that. And that is pretty much all there is to this really fun double envelope stack uh, pocket with pocket insert um, if you want to make one of these. So now... Uh, with another option if you want to use this as a like a page flip in your journal or um, wherever you like you can also do that so let me show you what I mean uh, say you have a journal or a page and this is just a piece of paper that I folded because I don't actually have a journal of this size to fit this just yet but let's just say this is a page 
and you want to add this as a flip into um, your journal or traveler's notebook you want to grab another piece of scrap paper um, it doesn't matter at what height you want it and as long as you have a width enough so that you can create a fold um, in this case this is one and a half inches and the height it doesn't matter um, you can make the height to you know to be the same height as this you can make it even smaller it doesn't matter it's just a hinge so that you can attach it to the uh, to your page so once you've folded your paper to create the hinge you are going to put glue um, on the front part of the fold and not all the way to that fold line just leave a little bit away so I'm just going to put glue here but not all the way along that fold line you're going to grab your um, your double stack envelope um, project you're going to place it leaving just a little bit away from that fold line that way when you create this as a page flip you've got room for it to move so you can see i've just left a little bit and then when you look at it it's just going to be like the hinge and then you're going to also now apply glue to the back of this one and again not um, all the way to that fold line and then you're going to place it beside the uh, crease of your page so I'm just going to place it here you could even put it along here you don't have to place it along the crease you can place it wherever you like on your page because you've got a hinge here that will create the flip so I'm just going to place mine here just so you can see and again just beside the fold line not on it just beside and press that down and that should be along here that's what you're pressing so let's just say this is your booklet you open this up and then you've got your little uh, your envelopes your pocket you make this into a flip and then you've got yourself a, a page flip and so you can do that if you wanted to add this as a page insert so just another idea for you so i'm going to just leave that in there so that is the uh, little project and the little giveaway that i want to just to give away um, i'm going to do three uh, giveaway prizes uh, and it's these uh, envelopes that i had just shown you um, for this project so it's this size envelope which is this one here so I'm going to give away a pack of three of random prints as well as a pack of three of the smaller size so again these will also be a random print and that is this little one here in the front and it will be sent to you uh, unassembled and you just need to follow the score line to create the envelope as well as a smaller size as well it's just easier for me to package and less expensive for me to post in the mail especially if you're an in international subscriber i want to be able to send it without it costing too much because i really want to give away some freebies because um, you've all just been so lovely and enjoying my videos so again you'll get through so you get six all together three of these size random prints and three of these and it's pretty easy to put together let me just see if i've got one so all you need to do is you just follow the score line and just fold it over and then you've got yourself an, uh, an envelope and so to enter the giveaway and i'm going to give away three so you've got uh, a chance of uh, three three chances to to win just uh in the comment below uh you can just put um would love to enter the giveaway um also like this video and also you to be a subscriber of mine for um, on my channel as well and I will draw out the winner uh, on Sunday evening so the uh, giveaway will be closed Sunday afternoon and then I'll come back and do a quick video to announce the winner as well Sunday night um, depending what time it is where you are uh, you will have a look and you'll see the video will pop up on your notification if you also uh, click the bell to be notified um, down below my video so again thank you everybody for watching this video and i will see you all soon in my next video bye for now